Hey guys, welcome to my shop. You might say welcome to my neighborhood. So, today, we're going to look at some of the improvements I made in the shop. And starting off in the other room, we built a very nifty workbench. And if anybody calls these crocs, you need to unsubscribe right away. So, in between last night running the lathe for three or four hours, I uh, took the skid that this was delivered on and made a table out of it to work on and it's quite a bit bigger than I imagined. Uh, I videotaped the construction. I'm going to play it at fast forward as fast as I can without getting the jumps and um, so you probably have to use your fast forward as well as me fast forwarding it. Probably not very interesting. Um, I'll find some porn movie music to play behind it. And, uh, so let's take a look at the finished product and semi, well almost finished. Always return your tools when you're done using them. It's just a safe practice. Well, notice this door has a sign on it that says pull. You do not want to push that door. Okay, let's turn on the movie lights. There we go. So, here we go. We got... The cabinet, of course, you know, I, I have it running downhill towards the back wall on purpose, you know. And if it's ever different, it's because I took it apart and chopped the legs off a little bit. I could probably just get rid of those steel feet. But um, I got a lot of storage underneath. And uh, a lot of... Uh, workbench area. I'm going to have, uh, well, there's two more lights at least, and I need two more over the mill, so there's four more lights, and I talk about these LED four-foot strips, and they can be ran together, and that's, you know, what I have in here. I have Basically, ten of them in here. So yeah, we need to get some more lighting in here. But this is it. We uh, used all recycled materials. All the screws, with the exception of these two, came out of the skid that the lathe was delivered on. Uh, the uprights, they were here at the property when I came here. Um, they used to hold up the awning in front of the store, I believe, a semi-truck. I'm told that semis sometimes take that corner too wide, and um, I've been known to take that awning down in front of the store. It is a state route, and if I-70 is ever closed down, we get a lot of traffic from the highway. So, yep, that's it, really. Um... We got the uh, tailstock, you know, I kind of like it in this natural state. Maybe just keep it oiled. I'm going to do the black background on this, I think. Just paint everything black and then sand. Sand the top stuff. Let the, let the letters be in silver. Um, and those of you waiting on plastic, keep waiting. No, I'll try to get some plastic out at the beginning of the week some plexiglass and uh, that's about it it's zero o'clock in here and um, the whole idea was to make room 
to work around and use this machine. And I did do something towards accomplishing that. I ran the electric. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. There's a black wire going up to the ceiling there, and it's going across the ceiling to a box, and then it's going through here, through the wall, and it comes out right here. See, I don't know if you're seeing it or not. You gotta be. What's that? What? See, I'm seeing shit that's not even there. Okay, I see it now. Um, I'll put a female plug there. No, I'll put a male plug there. So that'll be a female on this end. And then it'll come down here. And it'll be a male to hook up with this one. So because you can't find this style plug anywhere, I need to change both of these. Plus, everything else has to match the new ones. So I need three males and two females to uh, get that job finished up. And roughly 25 feet of wire. And I have that. It's an hour's away from here. Um, so I'm that close to having, uh, having the KO Lee Cutter tool grinder and uh, ready to be worked on. I saw some neat ideas on, uh, I got a Shars catalog and um, I was looking at a, uh, I guess it's a drill sharpening jig or machine that they have and I was looking at how they were holding the drills and they had collars and um, try to make something like that to go in my uh, radial rotary, my radial grinding jig. Um, you know, it's just, you know, the setup is going to be, you know, is my, you know, is my, uh, is my problem. You know, people have offered to give me things. I said, well, I don't even know what I need. So thanks for the offer, but I clearly, you know, I don't even know what I need, so um, I'm just looking for a way for now to be able to sharpen carbide, braised carbide, lathe tools, high speed steel, yeah, and that's about it. Um, yeah, you know, I can start there. If I can learn to do end mills and something else later on, you know, so be it. Um, so yeah, we're that close to it. And I do have a two inch vise I can hook up to that. And I have done some grinding on it. And I know I got to balance my wheel, and, you know, dress my, I dress the wheel. Um, I have to come up with some kind of uh, jig to uh, do the balancing. And I got some ideas about that. I don't think I need to spend hundreds of dollars to, to do that. Um, yeah, you know, I'd, uh, it's kind of exciting to have, you know, to have two, three machines operable, you know, that all complement each other. You know. All I need now is the uh, bridge port. And I guess the bridge port would have to go right here. Or the mini lathe would have to go right here and the bridge port on that wall. <laughs> and maybe it's not gonna be a bridge port. But uh yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I hope the fast forward isn't too painful.